floss tube welcome to another episode of my madness it is monday the 26th of july uh, and i'm on vacation and it doesn't feel like vacation it just feels weird um because i like to work i do like to have t time off as well um for stitching especially uh, oh I forgot I have the air conditioner on I will turn it off hold on yeah <laughs> sorry about that I realized uh, in my last episode I didn't turn it off and I just thought it was making an annoying sound in the background I'm sitting a little bit different here in my crafty corner, so the light is hitting differently. I still haven't gotten some studio lights, but I'm getting there. I will soon invest in that. And hopefully the lighting will be better. Um, anyway, first off, I want to send my thanks to two people and their names are Benjamin and Marianne Marianne who bought me uh, some cups of coffee and as always I don't feel worthy but I'm so grateful that you guys uh, believe in me and my channel and want to support me so from the bottom of my heart thank you very much um and if you're watching and you feel like you want to support me and my channel there is a link to a buy me a coffee you don't have to but you're very welcome and it's very much appreciated and every single coin goes right back to my channel for cross stitching i will show you the stuff i do the stuff i like and if you're a returning viewer um, i'm sure you enjoy what you see uh so welcome to all the returners and welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, I got some Stitchy Kindness from um, a dear friend of mine. I will call her a dear friend of mine, uh, Kat from Cat Talks. Yeah, come in. Thank you. What's this? Oh, hi, Kat. And she got me the nicest gift. And I just, I was totally overwhelmed. Look at this. She gave me a project bag for our new start on the 1st of August, the amazing Animal Kingdom. There is a beautiful flamingo on it and there is lots of flamingos on the back. I don't know if she stitched this by herself. I have forgotten to ask her. And there's this little sweet, um, what do you call it? Like a charm. Now it's gonna, not going to focus because I'm like... There is a bird there. So sweet. And she made a card for the, <laughs> it says Amazing Animal Kingdom. I'm sure she made this by herself. It's so pretty. So pretty. And inside I've put my stuffs. I have my fabric and I have my favorite thread organizers. I have my needles, my needle minder, and I have actually should show you that. I will show you when I start this start. I have all the, the threads in a special box in a special system. It's perfect. 
and it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Kat. Ah, it's just, you know, I get very emotional when it's not like I receive these kinds of gifts like every day. But when somebody do something nice to me, it's very overwhelming. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna talk a little bit about my whips, which I have been working on since my last floss tube. And usually I have five projects. I have two bigger projects, and then I have uh, my Friday projects, which are Mirabilia's and my Chatelaine. And then I have my focus piece, Soft as Steel. But I don't think I worked on Soft as Steel um, the past two weeks since Tour de France was over. Uh, I made such huge progress on it. So I just left it um, to spend some time on, at the moment, my favorite piece, uh, Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And then I had a new start. Um, so, four whips for the two past weeks. And here beside me, you can see I have two of these lamps. And I have my um, necessary stand here. It's perfect for my scroll frames. Uh, I usually use my Lowry stand for uh, the Q-snaps, uh, but since I knew I was going to film and stuff during my vacation, I just switched out the, the Q-snap. I usually use a 11 by 11 Q-snap for this, but I switched it out to a 17 by 11, so it fits on my uh, floor stand, my necessary floor stand. And this piece is just so cool looking at it in the viewfinder. Um, I think I got a progress around 3000 stitches. Um, I think it was like this part. I know I finished the owl um, because this part I stitched yesterday evening. So yeah, uh, I guess uh, I have I've done more than three thousand stitches on this uh, since the last last tape, and it's looking so cool. I'm loving this piece so much, and I don't know if it's the way I'm stitching, but I find that it goes pretty fast. I don't know why. I'm stitching uh, 210, so it's a 20 by 60, 20 by 60, no, 20 by 30 uh, grid down. So that is like maths, 600 stitches at a time, and it goes pretty fast. And then I like cr cross country stitch in those six squares and then I just park it down below and I do that across oh, look at the metal guy there so cool so I will be stitching more on this for sure I shouldn't tell you about the plans yet um, it is stitched on 25 count um, DMC threads one over one full cross and um, it's the easy grid yeah what else to say coffee we went out today to the bank me my husband and uh, my daughter Mina um, <clears throat> to, we need to go to the bank to open a, a bank account for her and then open up, um, uh, I don't know if you, 
how you do it in other countries, but we have like a bank ID ID. So instead of showing, you know, the card, your driver's license or something, you do it on the phone. And we need that for almost everything. Um, and she has, since she's over 13, she's 14 now, but, but when you turn 13, uh, for example, your medical journal is locked down for the parents. Um, so she needs that uh, to, to get, you know, her prescription, script, what do you call it? Like for medicine, or if she needs to go to the, the doctor, she's, you know, she's allowed to do that without, you know, parents being there. And, uh, we also have a way <clears throat> of paying instead of using your bank card or credit card, um, you use an app which is like in your phone and the bank account and your phone number is connected to that. And so we call it swish. So to be able to have that, uh, she also needed, you know, the, the bank stuff. So we went there today, but when we were there, thunder came and the sky opened finally because it, it's been so damn hot for weeks. <laughs> but it was so funny that, you know, well, the sun is shining now and there's no rain now. But when we were there, we were going like from the bank. We went to a coffee place called Espresso House. We usually buy some nice coffee there when we're in town or something. Uh, and, you know, it just rained and rained, rained. And it's, you know, this huge summer rain. It's so nice. And when we had bought the coffee and, well, I got a sweet tooth. So I got me a cinnamon bun, which I love. And it was in a paper bag. So when we were leaving, the sky opened again, you know. But we had to go. Because uh, we needed to go home to the dogs. They were We needed to take them out. And we had the car parked. A bit away and like going to the car on the way it was raining so much that the paper bag with the cinnamon bun in was all wet and started to break so I had to eat it oh <laughs> but I didn't mind I didn't mind at all anyway that was like the big adventure of today <laughs> my first vacation day okay so as I said <clears throat> last time, I wasn't sure what I was going to, to do, if I was going to start my Game of Thrones piece or not, or if I should do something else. I, I didn't know, but I did decide I'm going to start my Game of Thrones, which is stitched with the CXC threads. And I was very curious about them. And the thing is, I am a very skeptic person. I mean, Kat hasn't known me that long, or maybe kind of she has because she has watched my floss tubes. I don't know if you get to know somebody through floss tube, but I think she knows me pretty well. And yeah, she said, you are a very skeptic person. And I am actually. And especially if things aren't like I expect them to be, or if they're not as good as like, for example, DMC. I've stitched with DMC for like all my life. And I know I pay less for something else, uh, but I'm still kind of expecting it to be just as good. I don't know, but I was very skeptic and I've stitched on Game of Thrones. It's a pattern I have bought on Etsy. All the Game of Thrones, designs I've seen are like with Daenerys or Jon Snow. I've even seen um, the call Drogo. But I mean, what about all the other characters? Um, for example, if you didn't know, I love Arya and I can't find anything with her. Well, I can find like cartoonish pictures and 
I don't know. But this piece I, I found through another floss tuber. I can't recall her name right now, but she had a bab stitch mania. And that is why I found out about this pattern. And I just love the pattern. And I'm just rambling and babbling and the time goes. I'm sorry. Um, I've stitched on this for four days. Can it only be four days? Or is it five? I think it's only four. Why only four? Because I was doing a lot of other stuff, I guess. Um, I started it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe five days. Yeah, maybe five, four or five days. And I've gone through being, yeah, this is pretty good, to no, I don't think I like this at all, to, well, maybe, maybe it's working. Let me show you my progress. And I don't like how the light is, it's, there's too much shadow. I'm, I need to do something about that. And it's upside down. Whoops. Here we have him, the one and only Mr. Ned Stark. It's a little bit creepy. First of all, first at first I was like, is that a face? It looks horrible. No, actually, first when I, I stitched with black first, I was like, oh, this is like, you can see it's going to be a face. And then I start filling the face. I'm like, this is, looks scary. I don't like it at all. And then I think it was in the evening. I've turned off the lights. <clears throat> I just pass it and I'm like, wow, that kind of looks like a face. And now when I'm done, <clears throat> it definitely looks like a face. I even brought my daughter and asked her, does it look like a face? And she was like, yeah. Wow. She was like, oh, that's creepy. It's a face. <laughs> so I'm very pleased with actually the pattern. Uh, what I was very skeptic about with the pattern first was with pattern. I have put the pattern pattern in pattern keeper and all the, the colors there looked very, very dark. So it just look, it doesn't, it didn't look good at all. Um, so it was difficult, you know, when you use pattern keeper, um, I don't count all the time if I see uh, that like there's a black stitch there or a brownish stitch there, a red brown stitch there. Then you can like, um, you know where to put the next stitch by looking at the stitched stitches and the colors, you know, in Pattern Keeper. But since everything was so dark in Pattern Keeper, it didn't, uh, it wasn't the same color as, as I was stitching. Um, and it's not the CXC threads that was wrong. It was... Uh, pattern keeper that was a bit weird but I'm, I'm very pleased with this and yes CXC threads um, <clears throat> can it stand there without falling yeah I mean you get a full set of CXC, like 447 colors for what, 60, 70, $70 maybe? It's cheap! With the full DMC uh, kit, I would say $350, right? So there's a big difference. Big difference. <laughs> They are different, and I said it uh, earlier in some other floss tube that it felt a bit fluffy, and uh, I still think it is fluffy. And what I don't like at all, they have the DMC. Um, I'm sorry, 
I hate my selfie cam here. But they have the DMC uh, number, which is good. But this thing is not sitting very uh, secure. So I have some of these which are falling off. And I have like all the threads for my Game of Thrones in here. And I'm searching through them, you know, when I pick a new symbol, I find the color and then I stitch and I bobbinate them and put it in this organizer. But so it's going to take years to stitch this. These will not last a whole year with those falling off. So that's a big no-no to me. And my Game of Thrones um, picture, uh, chart, design, whatever, is very dark. So I have a lot of dark colors. And I have heard this before that the dark CXC threads are thicker than DMC. And I have to agree, yes, they are which also gives me a great coverage. There's a lot of black. So the black is giving me a very nice coverage for one over one on 25 count, which this is one over one, 25 count. I forgot to say that. Um, so I'm glad I never started anything on 28 count, which was my plan from the beginning. So <clears throat> at some point when I was stitching this week, uh, I also mentioned it on Instagram that I was very skeptic to everything. I was kind of like, I don't want to stitch this at all because I found the threads thick. But then when I finished the face, I was stitching a little bit like around the face and it felt easier. And then I looked. These are the colors I have used so far. There's 35 colors here. I think the complete, it, there, there's a total of 70 or 80 colors. So that's like half or almost half. And all those colors were in his face. So his face was very confetti heavy, which could explain that it felt bulky and difficult to stitch. What I don't like when I don't like to stitch, I don't like to stitch when I have to press the needle through the holes because there's a lot of, uh, yeah, stitched area or you have a small count or whatever. And I usually don't get that when stitching one over one on 25 count with DMC, but I got that now. So, I might just take by, back my skepticism uh, and saying, well, there was 20, no, 35 different colors in the face, which I would say it's okay that, I mean, the stitch area, I have stitched about 2000 stitches. All this is 2000 stitches. And his face is like, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, six hundred stitches. A little bit more, maybe. So, so I will have to stitch more. So I'm not as negative, but. Will I start more? Will I start more projects with CXC? Well, I have a full set of CXC threads and I have decided I'm going to <clears throat> start um, the mini uh, Central Park in the fall, I think by Kincaid. I bought it the, the mini and I want to try that with the CXC threads. So I haven't bought the threads for no reason, you know. And um, I think I'm going to do uh, two over one with 10 stitching and see how that is. But that's that start is coming like in the fall, not now. 
So. A little bit good, a little bit bad. Yeah, a little bit of both. So I will just put this over here. Like so. So that was the big project. I hope I didn't miss anything about them. If you want to write anything, just please ask. Ask away. I always like questions. Oh, and I've received so many, so many. I've, I've received quite a few mails for from watchers, floss, my watchers, my followers, uh, just sharing some nice words and, uh, you know, picking up a conversation about something I've told you guys about on my floss tube. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate those uh, conversations. They're short, but so kind and sweet. Uh, and I talk with Kat a lot on Instagram. And I tell my husband a lot. I, it's so amazing how you get friends and you get to know people through this commu community we're in and I'm just I, it's so much appreciated uh, sometimes I have it's difficult to put down in words um, it's not the best I'm not so good at that um, but it's so much appreciated uh, it really makes my day really um, yeah and we all need that uh, kindness and positivity in our lives so I just wanted to th throw out a big thank you to you know uh, who you are who's been mailing me and having a little bit of a conversation so thank you very much um, so on Fridays I stitch on Mirabilia and Chatelaine I do it every second Friday I wish I had two Fridays so I could give them one each one a Friday uh, because I want progress on these. I want to finish my Mirabilia because now I have so many and I want to start them all. <laughs> but uh, the first Friday I was stitching on a Lady of Mystery and I'm so ashamed because I hardly stitched anything. It was a bad day, I think. I just bleh, didn't want to. Yeah, I think I just went to bed and uh, pulled you know, the cover over my head. So I only stitched this part of her. But every stitch is progress. But um, no, it wasn't so much. Um, I don't know if it's like there's so much of this dress and there's not a lot of changing. Um, and I find it a bit hard to lay the stitch is pretty on this piece. I don't know why, but so the next time I stitch on her, I hope I will get a lot more done. <clears throat> I forgot. It is stitched on 28 count. Moss Ruin. It's a, it's an even weave. Um, it is hand dyed. It's difficult to see. Uh, in this light, but there is a little bit of molding in there. Molding. Isn't mold something that grows? I don't know. Um, yes, Crafty Kitten. Very nice fabric. I like it a lot. I think it's perfect for my lady of mystery. Uh, she is uh, one of the first ones I got. Uh, one of the first ones I fell in love with I actually think it's uh, the second or third so the first one's the first one was Miss Christmas Eve and then I fell for red I can't wait to stitch red oh my god yeah and then uh, this one but then then the craziness started yes oh hey and last Friday so my vacation started today, but since I work weekends and stuff, I have some days off during weeks. Um, 
and the Friday before I went on vacation, I was off work. And then I was, I was thrilled about it because I knew that I could stitch the whole day on my chatelaine. And when I'm, when I'm looking on it, I'm like, what? Didn't you stitch more? Blah, blah, blah. But it's not like uh, heaven and earth. I need to make this very neat. Oh my God, it looks so nice. This is what I stitched. So this is the first small um, thing. Um, and there were so many shades of green here. Whoops. Like in this area. And these are, um, I think all of them are water lilies. Uh, yeah, and you can see the leaves there for the first flower. It's so cool. I should be give. I sh actually now thinking about it. I actually should give the Mirabilia and the Chatelaine one day each during my week in my um, um. Come on, my vacation. So instead of stitching every second Friday on them, I should give them like every, well, it's Monday today, so I can't say Monday, but maybe um, Tuesday and Friday. So Tuesday, Mirabilia, Friday, my Lane. So they get four days in total each during my vacation, just, you know, to get some good progress. Now when I'm off work, uh, and then I can use like the other days for my full coverage pieces. Um, that's actually a thought. So this is stitched also on 28 count. It's just white even weave. <clears throat> Beautiful, great. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this. I love shuttling. I mean, if you love all kinds of threads and you like specialty stitches, and I mean, there are guides on floss tubes. There are help to get in the support, Chatelaine support group. There are diagrams. There are great um, instructions. And there's a lot of pictures out there to look at. But especially if you want, you know, oh, the Chatelaines, they, they just have everything. And it doesn't have to go fast. You can just do a little every day or once a week, every second week, like, like I do now. At first I stitched every day for a very long time, a very long time, seriously, like a month, <laughs> a long time. Yeah. Hello. Anyway, a long time for me, but I kept to the same piece for a longer period uh, than just one day or a week. So I did get a lot of progress in the beginning. Um, but you know, to take the time to start and end the threads, don't carry them around too much. And so nice. And the, the beads and the crystals is just so nice. And if you're curious, I have some of the unpackings of the, the kits that I have. So go check them out. Um, I have one last, it's the, um, the Pomerium Garden, I think it's called which I'm going to do um, an unpacking of two. So that's that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't have much more than that. Uh, so for plans the coming two weeks, um, stitchy wise, I've promised you guys some, <laughs> like everyone is doing half year whip braid. I'm going to do like, half year and uh, three quarters whip parade. It's coming, I promise. Um, I will do uh, the whip parade. But then I, then I was uh, thinking that um, my whip parade, I was thinking first like my full, full coverage uh, pieces, but then I realized that well, I have my mirror, I have my Chatelaine, I have started 
some other stuff like um, the Rosewood Manor 101 alphabets. I have the dog's last will. So I don't know if I should just show them as well because I have been working on them during this year. We'll see, but I know uh, some of you want to uh, to see that and it's coming. I will I will uh, do them. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, uh, which I have, well, most of my thoughts are going to that because I don't know what, what they're going to find. So um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, everything will come after. I just need to get tomorrow over and done with. Um, but this week I have already started stitching on my um, Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I just, I think about this, this, uh, this whip so much and I'm enjoying it so much and I want to you know, take care of that feeling um, because I have been waiting for that kind of feeling that you don't want to stop. You just want to keep on, on going on the same thing. At the same time, I'm thinking it would be pretty boring for uh, floss tubes, uh, for floss tube or my followers to just, you know, I, I've been stitching one thing. So um, I'm trying to to switch uh, so it's not the same thing. I can just give Once Upon a Fairy Tale a few more weeks than all the other stuffs. Uh, so I will stitch on that one this week and I'm thinking like doing a stitch a stitch with me uh, so you can either with music or talking or something. I'm talking so much now so I don't know if I can talk <laughs> that much again next time. Uh, or with uh, when uh, I stitch and chat. Anyway, um, I think the light is flickering a little bit. I think I heard some thunder too. Um, but on Sunday, the 1st of August, it is time, it is finally time for the stitch along with the um, amazing anim animal kingdom by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth, and it's hosted by Cat, Cat in Cat Talks, and me. And if you haven't gone over to Cat's uh, floss tube channel, please do. She has a s sweet, calm voice. Her English, I mean, she's an English lady living in Sweden. Her English is perfect, you know, and she has lots of different um, projects projects she, she likes. She likes apps. She loves Mill Hill kits. Um, she loves DMC. She loves the ocean themes and she loves heaven and earth. I mean, she has it. Oh, and she loves the Mirabilias too, of course. So she has so many things that she likes. Please go over to her channel and take a look and she has such great ideas about so many things um and she has helped me too with that and giving me some tips and ideas and it's so appre much appreciated because obviously i can't figure it out myself um but we're hosting this stitch along and everyone is allowed to join uh even if you have started it or if you're starting it with us uh, if you have a mini or if you have a quick stitch, if you have the regular or the supersized or like me and Kat, we are going for the supersized max color, of course, and it's going to be a great adventure. And we're using the hashtags, the ambitious, no, we're using the hashtag ambitious, amazing animal adventure and uh, hashtag for a cell. And yes, so uh, if you're joining or if you want to cheer, cheer us on and just follow along, go over to Instagram and search on those hashtags. I will put the hashtags in the description box below. And I'm so much looking forward to this start on Sunday. I have been eyeing the amazing Animal Kingdom for a very long time. 
I love animals and this piece really has all the animals. There are so many things going on and that's what's also so great about Amy Stewart's bookshelves. There are so many things going on and yes I do have a lot of pieces where there's like background and a big focus point focus thing but there is nothing like Amy Stewart's uh, bookshelf. So now I feel bad because, hey, what about Randall Spangler? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I love him too, I swear. But the first thing I stitched with him was the train of dreams. And there is also plenty of things going on. And that's the only thing, that's the only design I'm actually considering getting as a supersized Max Colors and stitch again. Yeah, it is. So we have those. Oh my god, I feel like I can't breathe. I'm just talking, talking, talking. But I love to talk cross-stitching. I love to listen to people who talks about cross-stitching. Yeah, I just love it. I love it. And uh, Debbie from Create, Create, Creatively, Creatively, oh my Jesus, come on, Creatively, 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 Creatively yours. Let's just say it fast and maybe you can't hear that I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, I just love her way of just do the new start, stitch whatever you like, who cares? You live once, enjoy. I just love it. So yeah, I'm going a little bit bananas. But I'm going to stitch whatever I feel like. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to have a bad conscience. Because I have so many whips and I'm not able to stitch on them all. And I'm, I'm actually always... Not always, but almost always fighting in my head how I will get around to them all. And at the same time, I have a few stitches like Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And I know my Animal Kingdom are like two main things I really want to focus on. But I still want to give other projects time and for example uh softest steel i'm going back to stitching 100 a day i have about 3100 3, stitches left to do to go before uh, i finish the 21,000 stitches in 21 and then i've reached my goal with that and then i don't know if i'm going to continue or if she's gonna rest a while i don't know we'll see but i'm just gonna stitch it all and I'm going to do all the starts. I have already new starts planned for the fall. A floss tube can be so evil when they enabled you. You know, the this is Stitcher, Darren, the Englishman in Australia. Yeah, he enabled me. And I've already ordered, I'm so ashamed to say this, but I've ordered the organizers, the plastic bags, the fabric. I don't think I have ordered more needles. I have quite a few needles actually. Now I just need to order some threads and then I need to order the DMC threads in Sweden and it's not cheap. So I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. And Laura Gurr, Laura Gurr, Please go watch her channel too. She's so amazing. She's so entertaining. Uh, she talked about... She has one uh, project that she's doing. Um, you will have to go to her channel to take a look. But it's a website. She has bought it from a website. I think it's also from Australia actually. Uh, which is called the Unconventional Cross Stitch. And I had stayed away from that place. I was like, no, don't, don't, don't go there. Because usually, in the end, you will find something you like. So I haven't went there. But the last time I watched, I don't know why, 
it was something she said and I was like, well, let's head over there and take a look. And I fell in love. So I can't wait to get another kit from another kit, my first kit from that place. And I know Debbie is also stitching something from that place. But you will have to go over there and take a look at their channels. Uh, yeah. So haul. So when there was a 50% sale. Ha! Huh, yes, I got three heaven and earths. Oh, Jesus. I've just, sitting, I've just been sitting here saying I was enabled. I was enabled. And then I got a message from Amanda. Amanda, I blame these stars on you, not the ones who enabled me. It's your fault, Amanda. <laughs> I got a message from her on Instagram saying, Hey, heaven and earth is having a sale. And I got the super size. And I was like, They're, they have a sale? And I feel so enabled right now. And yes, they, ha they had a sale. I get the, the email from Heaven and Earth quite late in the day. So I usually find out about the sale from other people. And this time it was from Amanda. And uh, so I got myself three patterns. And I will put them here. And two of them I'm starting in the fall. Because I, I don't want to start anything next year. I should just focus on progress. But at the same time... If I get some kits, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll take it back. I don't know if I'm going to start anything or not. Uh, so haul. We're, we're still hard at haul. I got those patterns. I've ordered that one. I haven't received the kit yet. So I will show you when it comes. I haven't heard anything from them either. So I think I need to email them. Um... I got myself a new Q-snap. I can never have enough of these. And now I would like to get an 11 by 17. Those ones. Yeah. The Q-snaps. You know, there's different designers or whatever. Fabric. Whatever you call it. Now my eyes are itching. I don't know why. Uh, and I think you can get them as a 20 inch as well. It would be nice to try. You could, you know, do a 20 by 11 or something. So I think I will get some more of them, but they're a bit pricey. What else did I get? Yes, I got another Plum Street, uh, Plum Street sampler. I got the raccoon rattle. And I've been looking at this for a while when I saw it on Heike, on Stone, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Uh, I don't know if she bought it or if she's stitching it. I, I'm a, I, I don't remember, but when I saw it, I was like, oh, a raccoon pattern, because I have a thing with raccoons, with my sister, my older sister. Uh, we love watching funny movies with these guys. And then I saw that Nikki on Nikki Crafts, she's stitching this one. And I was like, well, I am not surprised. Another design we like both. I'm not stalking her, I promise. We just have the same taste, which is amazing. And okay, so last time I didn't show you my all my haul. I'm just going to show you the rest because I, I don't want to have it laying around. And it's more or less just Mirabilia's because I just went bananas. And it's not like I'm earning that much money anymore. You all guys know that, but cough, coffees and I have some savings. So I've used some savings. We'll say like uh, the stitching penguin. No, not the stitching penguin. Um, it wasn't her, it was, it was Kat. She used her vacation money. So did I. <clears throat> So, I got the latest mirror with the embellishments. There's 
they're pretty. At first I was like, no, I'm not going to get them. And then I was like, oh, I need to get them. So it's just better to get them. And this is, isn't it Sabrina? I love Sabrina. She's so pretty. And I got the embellishment pack for her as well. That's my problem. I could get, you know, quite a few mirrors, maybe three or four when you get your payment. Um, but then some of the new ones, they st you can still get the embellishment pack and they're quite expensive often. And I'm like, if there is an embellishment pack, I have a very hard time and not to get that as well. But there are some embell embellishment packs that cost like 50, $60. Why? Why? And I can't tell myself, like, you don't have to get the embellishment packs. You can get the beads later if you're going to start stitching it. But it's so hard not to get the embellishment packs. And then I got some of the, the water li lilies. Um, they're still missing a little bit, but I got the ones that were there. There. And then these DMC, the blue DMC threads, those are for um, the uh, Aqua City. It's one of my full coverage. Uh, I've stitched all the black. I'm I was do, I'm doing extreme cross country stitching on that. And the next color uh, in line are the 996. So I decided to go get uh, that color in case my wheel will you know, get them. Uh, yes. <clears throat> I have some mirrors. I got Rapunzel. Beautiful one. And oh, I, I, I want to stitch this one. But I don't know about all the Mill Hill stuffs. I think there's, oh, there's a lot of treasures. I should tr try and see if there's, I don't think there's an embellishment pack, but I love Shakespeare's uh, fairies. And the baby boat. This is one that I don't think I will ever stitch, but it's in the collection. And uh, Blossom Goddess. And then we have some outer prints. So see, this is not an outer print. This is Queen Mariposa. She's so pretty. Who was it that's finished this? I think it was uh, Rackemeyer, Kyle Rackemeyer. Uh, stitching in sound. I think he finished this one and it's so gorgeous. I mean, when I've seen this, I'm like, oh yeah, she's pretty. But when you see them stitched up and phew, it's so different, very beautiful. So the fairy floor, I think it's out of print. Pretty, pretty. Oh, and this one, um, Yanni, Yanni, the Mexican lady, she's stitching this one and she's changing the colors a little bit. Very nice, very pretty. Go check her out. Yeah, and then we have Deepest Love. I don't know if I showed, showed this before. I'm not sure. Mm, I love this one. I love this blue uh, fabric. And then we have the Queen Mermaid. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I think this, some of them smell like cigarette smoke. This is one of my favorites. Queen of Peace. She's so beautiful. I would like to stitch this one as well. And 
we have Mermaid of Pearls. I've seen some. They buy sweet water pearls for this. She is so pretty. And we have the first one, right? I think this is the number one. Damask Roses. She is so elegant. I, I would really like to stitch this. Um, I think there are... It's just DMC threads. All of it. So pretty. And we have the Blooming Bride. I was looking at this on Hawkins Hobbies for a very long time. And I was like, oh, that's amazing that they have out of prints for sale. And I didn't get it. And then it was out. So I had to pay a little bit more for a secondhand one. But she's very pretty. I like her. I like uh, the brown, black, um, brown background and all the flowers in her dress. And then, guys, I have my jewel. The Lady of the Flag. And I'm so happy that this buy went through and that I got it in this good shape. shape. And I wasn't fooled in any way or scammed. I was afraid I was. It took for a long time. Um... But, you know, something, sometimes things can happen in your life, which makes everything slow down around you. I understand that. Um, but I paid a little bit for this, of course. Uh, I did not pay $300 that some of them goes for. Don't worry. But it was a lot of money for a piece of paper. <laughs> However, it's not this one smelling. I usually don't go for um like pattern stitches with the american flag on so i have been pushing it away for a while um but then i decided well i want to collect all the mirabilias and i have been wanting this one i was looking at it last year i hate myself for not buying it last year because then it was going for a hundred dollars i think now it's more <clears throat> But what it represents with the 9-11 event. Uh, it's important for me to, to have this. So I'm very proud of this. I'm very happy about it. I want to stitch it. But it's like, I don't know if I dare. You know, I have opened it just to see so there weren't any marks on the pattern. And it was not. It was very nice. But I don't want it to break, you know, so I'm very scared about it. But that was the haul. Now I don't have any haul. So I have gone a bit bananas, I know. But uh, yeah, sometimes... When you find an out of print and you're like, well, it's a good price comparing to what it usually goes for. It's like uh, the mermaid uh, waiting for ships. Um, I had been watching her and it was a very good price. But then I had bought some Mirabilias already and I was like, well, you have to wait until you get paid and... You know, you have to slow down. You can't buy them all at once. And when I got my pay and I was like, now I'm going to get that because I know that's a good price. Then she had turned up the price. So I was like, well, okay. Then I'm not in a hurry anymore to get it. And that's what's a bit worrisome sometimes that you find something when you feel like this is a good price, I, w I want to get it right away. And at the same time, sometimes, you know, you have to wait. You can't, I mean, I can't buy it all at once. So, but then, 
sometimes if you do wait, you might get lucky and get a better price at a later time. So, yeah. Now I've been rambling and babbling over an hour. And uh, it's time for editing on my fast computer, which my husband gave me last year, I think, which made my editing so much easier and I'm so happy about it. Um, so I'm gonna edit so I can release this as fast as possible. And um, yeah, if you um, want to support me, as I said, there is a buy me a coffee. Everything goes right back into the channel. Watch the commercials. Uh, it also helps subscribe. Um, leave me some comments. If you have uh, Mirabilias that you don't want anymore, please reach out. Uh, I'm very interested. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I cannot wait for Sunday to come. I'm really looking forward to this, to the new start. Um, yeah, it's going to be so much fun. And I, first I said, I don't want to start in the left, top left corner of the amazing animal kingdom. Um, and I'm not. And then I was talking about starting in the bottom right corner and then stitch upwards. And then I'm like, what if I don't like that, you know, stitching from bottom to top? Uh, and then I was thinking... It would be cool to start like in the middle and then stitch like a spiral like that and just stitch one 10 by 10 grid first and then you go one under and then you go uh, to the right and up, up to the left and you do like that. But I don't know how it will be with parking like that. Ah, so I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to start in the top left corner. I need to start elsewhere. Because as, as I've said, I've seen the top left corner on so many pictures that uh, I've said it before. I feel like yeah, I, I don't have to stitch it because I've seen it so much, so many times. And I'm enjoying that. It's, it's not that. It's amazing to see other uh, stitches. But I feel like, you know. Uh, it's enough. Uh, so I want to start somewhere else. Um, yeah. Let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching, shall we? Yes, we shall. Um, enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Uh, don't forget to share your uh, pictures on Instagram starting Sunday, the 1st of August. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. I forgot. Oh my God, my goodness. It's my birthday on the 13th of August. It's Friday the 13th this year. Yes. And since it's my birthday and this was actually a birthday gift. There was a nice birthday card in there. And it's been a while since I had a giveaway and you, so many of you has given to me, I want to give back to you. So we are having a giveaway, of course. Yes, don't use the word giveaway. And what I'm giving away is a heaven and earth pattern, of course, because I love heaven and earth. It's easy to give away. And I love heaven and earth. <laughs> uh, so it's a heaven and earth pattern. You decide whichever you want. Um, use the word hate. Um, and tell me which is uh, your favorite pattern, you know, heaven and earth pattern, which is your favorite through all the years. It doesn't matter if you've stitched it or not or whatever. Um, and you have to subscribe and I will look if you are subscribing to my channel when I pull the name. 
So make sure that in the, um, I don't know what you call it in English. Um, yeah, I don't know what you call it in English, but you go to your account and where you do, you know, changes, you can make a change there. So it is public to what you're subscribing to. You have to do that. So use the word hate, don't use the word giveaway. Subscribe to my channel, make sure that I can see it, that it's public. And I will announce the winner in my next floss tube in two weeks. So it's like a birthday giveaway. It's my birthday gift to you. Yes. <laughs> now let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a nice day. Love you all. Bye.